Breadboard is a platform where you can do your connections very quickly and comfortably. Actually, all these points A, B, C, D, E, these five points correspond to one single point of connection. The next five points corresponds to another point of correction. The next five holes is another and this is another and so on. So in a breadboard, you can have large number of different points that is here there are 60 vertical lines. So 60 different points can be had in this section. Similarly, this section is another part. Here also you can have entirely different 60 different points. So what I mean is if A, B, C, D is one single point, F, G, H, I, J is some other point. There is no connection between this line and the top line. Now coming to this horizontal side, you can see that from this point to this point, that is half of the breadboard length, there are 25 points and this constitute a single point here. This 25 lines in the ne next row constitute a different point. Now coming to the bottom of the breadboard, here also you can have a horizontal line, here also another horizontal line. Now when we observe the breadboard all together, you can see that this is one point, it breaks over here and this second half is another point. This is one point and this is another point. This is one point, this is another point. This is one point and this is another point. So, when you make a circuit, please see to it that you make your circuit on one half comfortably. You don't mix the circuit or use this part of the circuit because there is a break over here and here. To have a more clear idea about breadboard and its connection, I can show you how it looks like from the back. That is, when I remove this double sided sticker from here, what I can observe is this. So these are just metal pieces, so you will admit they are common points vertically and this constitute a common line. This is another line with a break over here, so this is different line, different line. This is another point, this is another point. Here, of course, one or two pieces of metal is lost. This is a damaged breadboard. These are the jumper wires that I'm going to use for the breadboard connection. These wires are very useful for breadboard and it is not much costly also. This is available on online today. This end is known as the mail end. And this is also a male end. So this is a male male jumper wire. This is a female female jumper wire. Similarly, male female jumper wires are also available. In